So is uh, PWM frequency, is that just, if you have variable PWM off, you get to choose the PWM frequency of the MOSFETs? Yeah, um, variable PWM, uh, sorry, uh, PWM frequency is exactly that. But variable PWM will take whatever range you have set at PWM frequency and will uh, essentially double it from that point if it's on. Um, I don't know if that's really going to stay like that for good, that behavior, but right now, so if you've got PWM frequency set to 24 and then variable PWM on, that's actually the best range for avoiding um, PWM and motor commutation um, issues. And uh, so it's, uh, I, I would suggest keeping PWM frequency on 24 with very variable PWM on in most situations. Um, but sometimes people might want, if they've got uh, a specific application, a really low PWM frequency or a really high one. So you can just take variable PWM off and then select the PWM frequency you want. But if you put, say, the slider to, uh, if you took variable check mark off, brought the slider to 8 and PWM frequency, and then put variable back on, then it would actually start off at 8 um, kilohertz and go up to 16. Um, it would double throughout the, uh, throughout the motor's RPM range. Is there any reason, like, can you give it a, like a, a real-world example of why you'd want no variable PWM but, and manually set the frequency? Um, well, I, I think that it's that variable PWM does have advantages, but it can sometimes make a strange kind of alien sound in the motor. Like the, you can hear these strange harmonics that with certain motors are amplified fairly loudly, and sometimes it helps just to set a PWM frequency to a straight 48 kilohertz and, or higher. But uh, this slider only goes up to 48 kilohertz. So that's something we'll, we'll change in the future, too, because the, the speed controllers can all handle much more. But That's what I was wondering. Uh, it could be a Holly that you can push it up to, like, 128 or something insane. It, STMs. Yeah. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's a bigger number, so we'll do it, too, eventually. Yeah, it makes us feel better with the bigger number. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't really do a whole lot past... 48 and if you put on 48 and check variable it'll actually go from 48 to 96 which is um that's a pretty pretty decent range most of the time you don't really need to be up above 96 kilohertz for for anything but it is you know we'll, 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 we might as well make the range as big as we can because we never know what kind of what kind of uh, hardware people are going to throw at it that can handle really high pwm frequencies in the future so